While we often talk about warm season fruits growing in our vegetable garden, tropical fruits are also becoming more popular for home gardeners. The Kalamadan orange behind me here and also the Meyer lemon are both readily available in nurseries and popular amongst home gardeners. Now both only uh, get to be about 6 to 10 feet tall so they're somewhat manageable. You will be able to put them out during the warm seasons but you'll have to bring those in in the winter time. They are evergreen however so they provide some nice foliage if you do bring them indoors. The best thing about them is you only need one tree because they are self-pollinated. As soon as you start to see some flowers come on them you will smell amazing fragrance as well. Now those flowers will give way to the fruit. You might notice that a few of the flowers will drop off a little bit or even some of the smaller fruit might drop and that's just normal. Um, that's a normal process that the plant goes through. The best way to take care of your uh, citrus is to provide it with a citrus fertilizer in the growing season of April through September. And then you'll want to hold that fertilizer um, during those winter months but continue to water it slightly but it won't be as growing quite as actively. If you've noticed that you've had yours for a while and it's not uh, ever blooming, then what you'll want to do is actually pull some of that water off of it, um, just hold the water, and allow it to wilt a little bit. And that will actually stress the plant, and when a plant is stressed, it tends to want to reproduce. In order for it to reproduce, it's going to need to produce flowers and, of course, those fruits for you. So that's just one little trick to get your citrus fruits to produce. The Kalamadan orange is also a true to type seed and so you could plant that seed and get a producing tree in two years. Now let's move on to another tropical plant and we've got some avocados here. And then actually we are growing an avocado tree. Now these like a lot of bright light, but initially when you're growing these, we're gonna start with an avocado that we got at the grocery store. What you're going to do is just cut your avocado in half, twist it, and there we've got our rather large seed. You're going to spin it to get it out of there. So once you get your avocado seed out, you're going to take three toothpicks and first identify kind of the point to the seed. There's a little bit of a point right here. Um, you can see how this end is a little bit flatter. You're going to want that point to go towards the top and then just press. It's not too tough that you can't just push your uh, toothpicks into the seed. Kind of do it evenly around your seed. And you want to do it about a third of the way down. And this is so that you can then put it in a jar of water and the majority of the seed is sitting below the water but the tip is still above the water. So you'll let this set for a while um, and in about two to six weeks you'll start to see that seed crack open and you'll see a root go down into the water and eventually a sprout coming up. Now avocados tend to be more of kind of a home experiment to grow a tropical fruit um, here. It will take a while in order for you to get a tree uh, this size and it will definitely take a little bit longer to get a fruit, about 6 to 13 years to get a fruit. Also avocado trees tend to bloom and not necessarily then go on to create a fruit. So don't get too excited when you do see a flower. It doesn't necessarily mean it will fruit for you. Now the next thing, as we wait for our avocado to grow, let's go ahead and talk about um, pineapples. So here we have a mature pineapple plant. Uh, you can see a pineapple is a bromeliad and the thing about bromeliads is once they flower and they produce a fruit, so the pineapple is the fruit of this particular bromeliad, once it produces that flower, the plant is dead. Um, hopefully you've got some side pups or something like that that will then go on to propagate that plant. Now, there's a way to do this at home also. So we go to the store and we buy a pineapple. So you're going to want to twist the top of the pineapple out of the actual fruit. So you're not even damaging anything that you're going to eat. Once you've done that, then you'll get a little pot of potting soil and go ahead and plant it up in our potting soil. So again, you're going to let this set for a while. Um, this center 
point will continue to grow and as it establishes more roots, you will have another bromeliad plant that when it flowers, you'll get a pineapple fruit. When you plant up your plant, you wanna make sure that you water it uh, regularly, but also that it has good drainage as well. Once you start to see a flower on your plant, it can still take up to six months for it to ripen. Finally, if you're really looking for a tropical plant to add to your collection, you might try a coconut. This is an actual coconut nut. Um, inside of this is what we might recognize as the, the coconut. This has got the husk around it. You can see we've got a cross section of one, kind of how it looks. Um, this actually allows a lot of buoyancy so that in their native environment, they float along and land in the beach. Now, typically you'll hear me say you plant a seed two and a half times the diameter of that seed, but not in the case of coconuts. You can see over here, we've got a coconut that's potted up. Um, it's actually broke through that husk and is starting to grow out. It is a coconut palm, so it will be a palm tree that we're growing. And they need a lot of bright light. Again, this is kind of a novelty um, to grow in your home garden and would only be hardy during the summer times. Because coconuts typically grow on a sandy beach, they do need frequent watering, but they need very good drainage. Because coconuts tend to be so cold sensitive, they tend to also be very short lived here in Oklahoma. And we usually only get about five to six years out of them in a container. As we wait for our avocado, about 13 years to get a fruit on it, six more months for our pineapple to ripe, I sure am thankful for the tropical fruit farmers and our local grocery stores so that we don't have to wait years before we get to enjoy some guacamole. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.